Rob Stone, you stand accused of violating Miss University's most precious bylaw. This panel of academic dishonesty will now describe in full the facts of this most heinous crime you are accused of committing. The official report is as follows. On March 13th, you violated a signed document of ethics to complete a midterm examination. On March 15th, your professor reported this blasphemous transgression against the university to the Department of Student Life, Liberty, and Pursuit of Bachelor's Degree. This crime is the most despicable, depraved, deplorable thing I've ever heard, and I cannot even say it here today. You fully understand the charges presented against you. It doesn't matter. We know what you did. In two weeks, you'll be flipping burgers with nothing to look forward to for the rest of your life. Huh. And you think it's all a joke. I don't think it's a joke, sir. Don't interrupt. Yes, sir. And say sir when you do. Yes, sir. Weren't you just ordered not to interrupt? But I didn't interrupt, sir. This should be noted when he is sentenced. Let the record show that disrespect was shown to board members when not interrupting them. Jim, you're an idiot. You're never going to get a dean's job if you keep blabbering like that. Let me do the talking. Come off it, son. We know what you did. You may have thought you could get away with it, but we had you the whole way. Multiple occurrences in the same week. The same day, even. When I'm through with you, you won't have a shot in hell of getting a decent job anywhere. And a cocky attitude to boot. You make me sick, you deceitful son of a bitch! You turned in an essay without properly citing your sources! What did you mean when you said we would never catch you? When? I'm asking the questions here. Yes, sir. Did you think you were given a hearing so you could ask me questions? No, sir. Then why do creeps like you get hearings? To answer questions, sir. Very good. Let's stick to that then, shall we? What did you mean when you said we would never catch you? I don't think I ever said that. I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch that. I don't think... He said speak up, son! Jim! Didn't I tell you to keep quiet? Could you speak up? I didn't hear you. I said I never said you couldn't catch me. Now we're getting somewhere. Even though you're a liar, I can't believe your attitude. On March 14th, in Professor McDivitt's physics class, didn't you say we wouldn't catch you to one of your friends, the one that keeps complaining to the housing director about the dorms? God, I hate that kid. Didn't you tell him that we wouldn't catch you? No. I told him you couldn't prove anything. I failed to see the difference. Jim, I told you to shut the fuck up! Who's stepping on my foot? Not me. It's probably the creep. Are you stepping on my foot? No, sir. Was it you? Uh, no, sir. It was him, sir. Jim! Sorry, sir. You don't like your job, do you? You're trying awful hard to lose it today. Sorry, sir. Where were we? Read me back to the last line. Read me back to the last line. Not my last line. Read me somebody else's. Read me back the last line. That's my line again! Do you want to lose your job too? Uh, no sir. No it's not. It's my line. I said it just a second ago. Do you like your job, Stenson? Uh, I guess so, sir. You guess so? You're working for one of the country's finest institutions of higher learnage. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, yes sir. Well you won't be working here very shortly if you keep trying to make a fool out of me. Now read me back his last line! Right. When? When what? When did you tell him that we wouldn't catch you? I didn't tell him you wouldn't catch me. When? When what? When didn't you tell him that we wouldn't catch you? I told you I never said that. Stop lying to me! Stop lying to him! Jim! Sorry, sir! Due to your flagrant disregard for the almighty plagiarism laws, your disrespect towards this panel, and your general catty demeanor about these proceedings, I have no alternative but to deliver the harshest penalty that my position allows. You are hereby obligated to be expelled from this institution. Sir, you haven't offered any evidence. Weren't you paying attention? I swear, I can't figure out how you got into this school in the first place. Are you dumb, son? Shut the fuck up, Jim. And who keeps stepping on my foot? I'm going to speak to the president about this. All of you better pray I wake up in a good mood tomorrow. You student affairs people are so incompetent and impudent too. My wife is so sterile, it's driving me crazy! We've been trying to have kids for weeks! You understand how stressful that is? I loathe you.